all right guys welcome back survival living here so today we have a solar video for you now this is one of our affiliate programs that we just got affiliated with this is enjoy bot this is one of their solar batteries that they sent us and this is something we'll be building for our outdoor kitchen now i've already shown a video it should be popping up there for you guys um we need power here so what we have here is the whole thing here i got a solar generator and i got a solar battery and we just hooked up on one of our cheap sets of uh, solar panels. That's just a set I had laying around. I want to use for this. Now with this solar battery, guys, this is a LiPo 4 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Yeah, freaking awesome. This thing is super light. Um, I usually use the uh, flooded lead acid batteries. That's how we built our major solar grid for our trailer. This here is super light. These things are a little bit more pricier than those, but these things here also last a lot longer. I mean, we're talking 10 years compared to seven to 10 years, give or take, on those other ones. Now, let's go ahead and get over some of the um, specifications of this. Let me bring you in a little closer. Now, one of the first things I want to cover is the low temperature cutoff protection. That's freaking awesome. The batteries I have for our trailer our solar grid is a flood acid battery it's a solar battery but it does not have that protection at all all right so this here is a step up for sure now this thing also has 1280 watt hours it is a 100 amp hour battery and again it's the lipo fours this is the 12 volt version now they have many different types of solar batteries you can check out and again this thing is so much lighter than the batteries that I use for the solar grid. There should be a pop-up comparison of the weight of this and the weight of the batteries I'm currently using. Huge difference. And when I picked this thing up in the box, I didn't even know it was a solar battery. That's how light this thing is. So let me go over what we have as far as our rigging up here. We've got our positive, we've got our negative. Now, as you see these little screw bolts, these things just screw right down and they come with these nice little caps, keep you from um, arcing off on anything. Put these back on, perfect. Now, I've got a red wire positive going to our inverter. This is a little cheap 1500 watt inverter, and trust me, it is cheap. It is not a pure sine wave, even though it says it is, it's not. Uh, and we got a negative going over here to our negative back here. That's for our inverter. We got a negative and positive going to our charge controller. I'm going to get you guys in here. This is going to our charge controller, which is going right here in the center block, the center lugs. That's going to the battery. These front lugs are going to the solar panel. No, these are not MC4 connector or solar cables. That actually comes with the Harbor Freight solar panel I showed y'all. That is one of the first solar panels I ever purchased because I didn't know any better is overpriced for what you get okay so that's why i don't recommend going to harbor freight to get solar panels and then we have dc over here these two plugs over here this is dc current this is running our lights here in the uh outdoor kitchen now why do i have a solar generator here well i got a solar generator there because it runs my uh wife's cappuccino machine because this little inverter right here won't power up the cappuccino machine. I gotta upgrade. So anyway, let's turn this on. Everything is working properly. Now, what we have hooked up on this right now, we have our fan and we have our cooler and our lighting. So let me go ahead and turn on our fan right fast. Our fan is in operation. It looks like it's moving slow, but it's not. That's wide open, trust me. See? Turn that back on. We've got a fan on. Our solar is sitting at 12.8. We've got overcast skies today. Let me show you.
we got our refrigerator here our coolant fridge still empty we haven't hooked that up as far as uh, putting any food in there yet and we got that inverter running oh yeah also our lighting one two I still gotta get a bulb for this one so why solar well if the grid goes down you need to have solar power either it be man-made where they turn off your grid because of high winds or blackout with brownout scenarios where they're trying to conserve power and you only have a certain amount of power each day to use having solar is going to provide you a way of you know living basically really is with what we have just that one battery alone a charge controller a cheap solar set a solar panel set and a cheap inverter I can run our refrigerator all day and all night well that cooler all right I can run that all day and all night I can run our lighting I can run our fan which is this one battery we are going to expand this we're going to try to get three batteries total for our outdoor kitchen area and then we're going to end upgrade that inverter over there get a better quality inverter a pure sine wave inverter and we're also going to upgrade our solar panels at least 300 watts is what i'm looking for to run everything comfortably out here now i did testing on this and i've been away for a few days and came back we've not had an issue we've got overcast guys we got 12.8 on our charge controller that's good when this thing came in it was at 13.1 so it's full charge when it came in it was shipped to me no issues at all very nice shipping so yeah not bad at all i am very impressed with this so guys if you're interested in this we have links in the description also we have our own affiliate link as well because we are affiliated with this company now guys like i've always said if you buy through our links we get a small commission it doesn't cost you any more but i'm always open about that but this is what i do we live off grid we're always looking into better products for our solar and we finally found one again lightweight i wish i would have had these before i built our other system because this here takes a lot of weight out of our trailer and they last much longer 10 years so to enjoy bot i definitely do appreciate you reaching out with us and accepting our affiliate program request guys this thing's awesome i look forward to working with you guys in the future on building this system larger so we can actually show how everything works correctly and again guys for grid down having solar last so much longer than a gasoline generator you don't have to sit there and worry about trying to find gas having the availability to power up right there in your yard this is why we like solar so much now all right guys definitely going to wrap this up again very simple i showed you the wire on this plug it all in run it nothing to it people get worried about solar all the time solar is actually very simple once you actually put your hands on it it's actually a very simple process. All right, guys. Speak to you later.